So, Kristen, you were how old when you donated plasma? You've told us that story before. Yes. Um, actually, my friend Carrie worked at the clinic. If I remember correctly, this was for freshman year spring break, Daytona. <laughs> um, and I had to have been 18. 18. Yep. Uh, the window of opportunity to make a donation like that, a fl- where you're so desperate, right? You don't have a whole bunch of responsibilities either. And you just need cash, right? So you go in there. And at that point, they give you how much? I don't remember. So we, we you go multiple times because the more you go the higher they pay you. So the first time, if I remember, it was like 25, and then the second time, it's 40, but then the third time, it's like 50. 50 bucks! Yes. Okay, so I brought our producer, Cairo, in, because he is in this very precious window right now, where you're what, 22 years old? 23. 23 years old. Not a lot of responsibility. He's just coming up in his career, living in an apartment, told us doesn't have a lot of furniture. Not a lot of stuff holding you down, though. No. Right? All right. What if I told you I can make you a quick $4,500 and I'm going to send you to Europe to, to make it? Oh, that sounds cool. <laughs> sounds cool? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There is a company nope. in England right now this that, is that is looking for patients to volunteer to get injected with a light, light, light form of the coronavirus. Oh. For $4,588. Yep. Well, $4,500, you kind of have to. What do you mean? I mean, it's my civic duty. <laughs> what? what? Huh? You would actually I mean, do it? I mean, I'd be $4,500. Like, it's $4,500. So like, there is no vaccine yet for the uh-huh. coronavirus. So this company is like, we want to try, we need people to try this on. So they're offering you $4,500 and let me give you the details on it. Okay. They're going to pay for your expenses to come on out to England. All right. And they're trying to develop this new vaccine. Um, you get a whole battery of tests. You're going to be giving two of the virus's weaker strains. So it's like they're working your way up to coronavirus. Um, It's going to cause mild respiratory symptoms. And then they're going to give you new or existing vaccines. And you got to stay there for at least two to three weeks. Two to three weeks? Yeah, got Fiji and stuff. You have to have a passport to go over there? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Oh, I don't. I don't got one. <laughs> but if you sense. did, would you take it? Would you go? Oh, yeah, I'd take it. Really? No. What? You just fell in love. Oh, oh wait. No, no, no. I'd, yeah. have, to go, I'd have to go after nah. this week because I've got a day set up. Yay. <laughs> but, I mean, here at 23 years old, I mean, he's really not that at risk of fatality. Uh-huh. Right? Because his immune system isn't compromised. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So... 4500 bucks. If this was your son Hayden mm-hmm. sitting across from you and he was of age to do this, would you encourage your own son to do this? Treat Cairo like he's your own son. Would you encourage Hayden to oh, do this? Good. Hayden or Hollis? Hayden. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> he could pay for the car that Right, way. he could pay for his own... <gasps> That's what I'm saying. Ooh. See ya, son! Oh, Whatever, you would nah. not. You they, would not. They should, You're gonna be fine, boy. They should offer enough money that if things go wrong, you at least made enough to pay for your funeral. Like, 4500 don't even cover that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't let him do it. Exactly. Of course not. Cairo, don't do that. Right, well, you don't have a password, so get it. <laughs> We'll Aww. try it with Blake. <laughs> <laughs> and you never know where the world might take you. Get your passport. Yeah, get your passport. I don't even know how you do something like that. <laughs> oh, man. Another conversation yeah. for next time. Okay. <laughs> Call Google. The Bird Show.